Hi, my name is Dr. Sasha Hai. I'm an internal medicine specialist and obesity expert. And over the past month, we've been talking about obesity as a chronic medical condition. Last week, we talked about evidence-based treatments for increased weight. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the three pillars of weight management, cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. CBT is a type of counseling therapy that helps people understand their thoughts and feelings and how that they can influence behaviors. It's commonly used to treat a wide range of disorders, anything from phobias and addictions to depression or anxiety. In obesity management, CBT helps you to change your thinking to improve health behaviors. It's also to help modify your relationship with food and develop more positive coping strategies. Let me give you an example. One category of distorted thinking is called a permission thought, which is when you justify or rationalize behaviors. It can sound like this. Oh, it's all right, I'll just have a little bit. Or, oh man, I've had such a stressful day at work and the kids have finally fallen asleep and I'm exhausted. I deserve a snack. This subconscious thought then leads you to walking to your kitchen, opening up the cupboards and looking for a snack. And you're not even hungry. This can result in an overeating episode, and it all stemmed from that simple thought that when left unchecked, sounded totally valid. I deserve this. The consequence is that you start gaining weight, and this results in feelings of inadequacy. This is way too hard. I don't have enough willpower. This is never gonna work. These feelings can drive more negative thoughts called self-sabotaging thoughts, like, what's the point? I may as well, might as well eat this. I've already blown it anyway you can see that a vicious cycle can develop. So cognitive behavioral therapy helps identify these negative thought patterns and develop better coping strategies. We also need to find that internal drive that is going to keep us motivated. We call this a person's core values. Values provide direction for your life. And how do we determine them? By asking yourself why to a few simple questions. Why do you wanna lose weight? To be healthy. Why do you wanna be healthy? I wanna feel better and have more energy. And why do you wanna feel better and have more energy? I wanna be active with my friends and family. And why is being active with your friends and family important to you? Well, I wanna live a long and healthy life and not be limited by my weight. And being surrounded by friends and family is an important value to me. So you can see that by exploring your core values, you can help identify what is going to make it worth it for you to stick with the healthy choices even when it's hard. My name is Dr. Sasha Hai. Thanks for watching.